celiac disease is a very common disease. Actually, it's estimated that one in 133 people have the disease, but only about 25% actually know. May is Celiac Awareness Month, and Dr. Anthony Porto, Director of Pediatric Gastroenterology at Greenwich Hospital, sat down with It's Relevant to discuss the symptoms and testing options for the illness. Gastrointestinal symptoms, so patients or children, adults, will come with diarrhea, constipation, abdominal pain, maybe they're not growing as well or they're not getting their height capacity or what's called short stature. And that's the typical. Dr. Porto says that for kids and young adults, checking your family history is important. Asking whether if there's any family history. So if you have a first degree relative, so if your mom and dad have celiac disease, then you have a one in 20 chance of having celiac disease. For those unsure if they may have the illness, Dr. Porto recommends testing for it rather than going undiagnosed. Dr. Porto also says for children diagnosed with the disease, going on a gluten-free diet can be difficult. The first couple of months is a learning process. And I think what I always say is, you know, we always say, oh, tomorrow start gluten-free. I don't really like that approach. I like the approach of we're gonna gradually remove foods and sort of make a child acclimate. Because what happens during that time, you can find that restaurant that does gluten-free pasta very well. You can find parents learn different recipes. There are several tests that can be done to determine whether you or your child has celiac disease. The screening test for anyone over two years of age is to look at with a, two blood tests, total IgA, which is basically looking to make sure that you have a normal IgA level. If you have a normal IgA level, then the test that shows whether or not there's a risk for celiac is something called the tissue transglutaminase IgA. If that's elevated, then that's suspicious for celiac. Dr. Porto says although symptoms of the disease can come in many forms, more information and proper testing is coming out to determine treatments and raise awareness. The disease is so variable in how, um, what the symptoms are, and I think part of it is also we're just thankfully thinking about this disease more. So hopefully we'll be diagnosing people much earlier versus having them go through a lot of uncertainty for so many years. Greenwich Hospital plans on hosting support groups for families in the community affected by celiac disease. We invited a nutritionist to talk to the family about, about that. And what we're hoping to do next is to invite local restaurant chefs to talk, talk about what they can do to help us and what we can learn from them as well. For more information about celiac disease, visit GreenwichHospital.org or celiac.org. In Greenwich, Quadruba Crawfee, it's relevant.com.